Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining on objective questions and answers of material science and metallurgy. So here that will be the part number six and it will be containing with most important 20 question list and that will be help to clear GATT examination, UPSC, GPSC and all the PSUs industries. So let us start with the question number one in part number six. The melting point of copper is option A 660 degree, option B 1085 degree centigrade, option C 419 degree centigrade and option D 1538 degree centigrade. So basically the melting point of the copper it will be around 1085 degree centigrade. So the right answer is option B. The next question. What effect do thermal variations in volume have on a body? Option A. Expansion. Option B. Contraction. Option C. Cracking. And option D. Phase transformation. So basically cracking that will be having an effect of thermal variations in the volume of a body where expansion, contraction and phase transformations are the ways in which these volume changes occurs. So basically they are causes no any kind of effects. So the right answer is cracking option C. The next question. Which of the following processes is not an application of thermoelectric effect? Option A. Seebeck effect. Option B. Peltier effect. Option C. Thomson effect. And Option D. Attingson sen effect. So basically Seebeck effect, Peltier and Thomson's are the three distinct effects which makes up the thermoelectric effect. So the last one and that will be Attingson effect however is a separate thermoelectric phenomenon like the Nernst effect. So the right answer is option D. The next question. The insulating capacity of material against high voltage is known as option A dielectric strength, option B thermoelectricity, option C electromechanical effect and option D electrochemical effect. So in this the dielectric strength of a material it is insulating capacity against a high voltage where the process by which two dissimilar metal joints and produce a voltage is known as a thermoelectricity where the electrical effect in a material is the relations between electrical energy and chemical change and that of the electromechanical effect is in an electrically operated mechanical device. So that will be used as a radar mechanisms. So the right answer is dielectric strength option A. The next question. The ability of the metal which helps it to form a smooth cast is known as option A machinability, option B formability, option C solderability and option D castability. So basically the castability that will be refers to ability of the metals or an alloy by which a perfect cast is being formed. The ease with which a material can be machined is known as a machinability where soldability is ease which, which a soldered joint can be preferred. So here that will be the ability of the metal which helps to form a smooth cast so that will be refers to a castability. So option B. The next question. An example of amorphous material is option A zinc, option B lead, option C silver and option D glass. So here the amorphous materials is having a random order structure and such kind of structure it will be observed into the glass materials and rest of the others that will be zinc, silver and lead which will be as a crystalline structure. So amorphous materials it will be act as a non-crystalline structure. So the right answer is option D glass materials. The next question cemented carbide tools are not found to be a suitable for cutting. 
ऑप्शन ए ब्रास ऑप्शन बी कास्ट आयरन ऑप्शन सी स्टील एंड ऑप्शन डी एल्यूमिनियम सो बेसिकली सीमेंटेड कार्बाइड टूल्स आर फॉर्म बाय प्रेसिंग अ मिक्सर ऑफ टंगस्टन कार्बाइड एंड कोबाल्ट टुगेदर इनटू अ हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस एंड देन हीटिंग द कंपैक्ट इन अ हाइड्रोजन एटमॉस्फेयर सो द टंगस्टन कार्बाइड इज एन एक्सट्रीमली हार्ड सब्सटेंस सो दैट विल बी हैविंग गेट डिफिकल्टीज टू कट अ स्टील मटेरियल्स so the right answer is option c that will be having a difficulties the next question the hardness of the steel increasing if it contains option a austenite option b martensite option c perlite and option d cementite so basically austenite is found at a higher temperature and up to a 2 percentage of carbon which having a soft face and martensite responsible for having a highest hardness where perlite which will be found at 0.8 percentage of the carbon or you can say at your eutectoid steels so which having a ferrite and cementite so that proper mixture of ferrite and cementite which will be known as a perlite where cementite generally found at room temperatures and more than 0.8 percentage of carbon so here the right answer is martensite that will be responsible for higher hardness so right answer is option b the next question nodular iron has option a high machinability option b high tensile strength option c good fluidity and option d all of the above so basically as per the structure of the nodular cast irons so nodular iron which will be also known as a ductile irons so where the graphite is present as a tiny balls or you can say spheroids or you can say in the form of nodules so due to that kind of structure arrangement into the nodular cast iron so which will be having a high machinability as well as high tensile strength and good fluidity so as per the given question and answers and you can say options the right answer is option d all of the abo the next question melting point of iron is option a 1539 degree centigrade option b 1601 degree centigrade option c 1489 degree centigrade and option d 1131 degree centigrade so as from the iron carbon diagram this you can see this is the left side it will be the 100% of irons and which will be having a melting point around 1539 degree centigrade or you can say that will be the touch the highest temperature range which will be known as a melting point as for the phase diagrams so the right answer for melting point of iron that will be 1539 degree centigrade so option a the next question production of pure powder of iron and copper can be effectively done using option a reduction option b crushing option c electrolysis and option d atomization so basically the copper is a primary metal producing by electrolysis process but iron chromium magnesium powders are also produced this way so basically for this the right answer is option c and that would be electrolysis process that would be used for making a pure powder of iron and copper the next question sintering is done to option a increase final strength option b decrease final strength option c initially increase and then to decrease the strength and option d initially decrease and then increase the strength so basically the sintering process that will be the one kind of heat treatment commonly used to increasing the strength of the materials into the powder metallurgy process and the structure integrity of the materials so powder metallurgy use this process to convert metal powders to end use part so basically by the application of sintering that will be increasing the strength so the right answer is option a increase final strength of a component then next question which of the following is used for a bearing liners option a gun metal option b bronze option c bell metal and option d bobbit metal 
So basically in a bearing liners that will be made with a bobbit metals. So the right answer is option D. The next question. German silver contains option A 1% of silver, option B 2.5% of silver, option C 5% of silver and option D 10% of silver. So basically German silver which contains with a 5% of silver as a composition. So the option C that will be the right answer. The next question. Recrystallization temperature can be lowered by option A purification of metal, option B grain refinement, option C working at lower temperature and option D all of the above. So basically recrystallization temperature can be lowered by purifications of metal, grain refinement and working at a lower temperature. So that will be the right answer is option D. All of the above. The next question. Taps, dies and drills contains carbon. Option A. Above 1%. Option B. Below 0.5%. Option C. Below 0.8%. And option D. 0.2%. So basically manufacturing of taps, dies and drills contains the carbon around or you can say above the one percentage. So that will be the category of steel. Or you can say the higher amount of carbon percentage is being present for such kind of applications because these applications it will be used to cut or you can say used to make a production tool. So that will be requirement of a higher percentage of the carbon. So above one percentage. So the right answer is option A. Then next question. The presence of sulfur in pig iron mix. Option A, it easily machinable. Option B, it brittle. Option C, it hard. And option D, the casting unsound. So basically the presence of sulfur into the pig irons that will be makes a sound casting or you can say casting unsound. So the right answer is option D. The next question. Balls from balls bearings are made of option A cast iron, option B carbon chrome steel, option C mild steel and option D stainless steels. So basically balls from ball bearings are made of a carbon chrome steel materials. The right answer is option B. Then next question. Blast furnace produces following by reductions of iron ore. Option A, pig iron. Option B, cast iron. Option C, wrought iron. And option D, malleable iron. So basically the blast furnace producing the following by reductions of the iron and that would be the pig iron. So that would be the basic irons and it will be found into the natural environments. So right answer is option A. Pig irons. Then last question. Cupola furnace produces following materials. Option A. Pig iron. Option B. Cast iron. Option C. Wrought iron. And option D. Malleable iron. So as from the cupola furnace produce cast iron. So option B. That will be the right answer for this question. So I hope you like this. So if you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.